I don't know whether this is going to be one of those moments when you've probably decided I've lost my mind, but here we go. Now, I've seen this thing done by another YouTube user, and I wanted to evaluate whether there was any truth to it or not. Because if there is, then essentially it might make my creation of an alcohol fire inside much more useful. Now, same as before, same type of container, no seam on the base. If there was a seam on the base, and there's heating and cooling, then that could weaken the seam, and the liquid could then escape. So that could be dangerous. So I've got a container without a seam on the base here. And that's why I'm putting it in. Typical alcohol stoves tend to work via a wick system or via a little vent system. So the, um, so the alcohol turns into a vapor and goes out of the vents. But there was one person on YouTube who actually used a toilet roll as a wick in a container. Now on the internet, especially here on YouTube, we get people who do stuff, say they've got results and basically didn't primarily because they're trolls, or they're being silly, or they want views, they want people to talk about their videos. I don't want to do that. I want to see whether this is actually true. I'm making a guess that methylated spirits has the same kind of burning properties as ethanol for the purposes of this test. Okay? I mean, it says here it contains ethanol and methanol. That's what it says there. So presumably it's the same as what you get out of, um, out of a still if you hadn't sort of taken off the methanol. So I'm going to pour some of that into there, and I'm going to set fire to it, and we're going to see what happens. So that's um, I mean, this is a half litre bottle, so that's under much under a quarter of a litre. And although the wick is not completely wet, well, let it go. Let it go the way it is and hope for the best. Let me just get the cap on the bottle. fire and damage I've got the lid for this container so I can shove that on there if I need to and I'm scared shitless but here goes doesn't look too scary actually does it The bits where the toilet roll has not been wet of now is actually burning and blackening, as you can see on that side there. But we got some typical ethanol fire type flames. And it sounds just like when the gel was going. So if I did distill my own alcohol and I got lots of toilet rolls from the pound shop you know, like a massive quantity, and that would probably do it. Heat being produced is quite, it's actually quite big, feels a bit more, like there's more heat than the gel gave off. And that is the kind of flame pattern I'd love to see inside, actually. And it's definitely warm. So, I mean, once this is burned down, then it's all nice and safe and cooled. It might be worthwhile just trying one of these containers, just with some neat methylated spirits put into it, and just see what that looks like and what that feels like, and how much um, heat we get off it. Because you know, this is this is all learning. This is all learning. 
But can you actually imagine having an alcohol fire indoors looking like that? I could. The flame height's not too high actually. So that's actually quite a good system. So I'm quite pleased with what I'm seeing there. Flame height is getting high, the way you expect it to. And the wick, which in this case is the toilet roll, is burning off. Which is of course a bad thing, which means you'd have to carry on buying tons and tons of toilet rolls to use. As wicks every single time you wanted to have um, heating indoors. So that's brought about more questions rather than provided any answers. with only that much alcohol. Flame colour, possibly due to the paper itself. Yeah, I think that's doable. I actually think that is doable, and I think that in that form it is safe to use indoors as a form of heating, provided of course I'm using like my canning, my canner base. To keep it nice and safe. One thing I'd like to add to this quickly is I'm not quite sure about the possibility of getting any toxins in the air as a result of burning off the paper. So you might want to be careful of that and still have plenty of ventilation. If you're burning off the paper you're getting carbon monoxide and that could be dangerous. So that's not something I would recommend and I'll be very careful of that. So now the question is, what would happen if I just took another container, just like this, and just put a tiny splash of the metal of spirit straight into it and set fire to it? And would that actually work? Or would that provide flame height which is too high and therefore dangerous? Now, there's only, only one way to find out realistically and that's to do it. So here we go. Just the fourth. Just a splash, not too much, not too little. Well, yes, it is too little, it's only a splash. Now, if I was doing this to heat my place inside, I certainly wouldn't do more than a splash at a time anyway. That's going straight into there. Ah. burning quite furiously and the flame height is going up quite nicely it's harder to see the flames on the neat alcohol as opposed to the one which is wicked with the toilet roll they are more invisible and they appear to go up higher a lot higher so neat alcohol in this type of burner could be 
potentially, I mean doable but dangerous. The quantity that has the capacity to flare up, whoops, looks big. So I think we'd need alcohol, unless I had a lot more protection. I might feel a little uncomfortable with it, to be honest. I mean, again, it's doable, but it just doesn't, I mean, doesn't have the consistency that we get there. And when it does flare, it does flare a lot. Now the commercial ethanol fires tend to have something to control the flame heights, namely a shutter. Could I use the lid as a shutter? Basically no, we just extinguished it. And it only went woof because the vapours got lit by that. So I don't know whether I can reliably create a, that kind of effect. So I guess I'm going to have to buy mineral wool or something like that to make a wick and use that as a means of controlling the rate at which the alcohol goes up and burns. But I've got to find the right variety of wick to do it and one which is affordable. And only then will I actually have safe alcohol fires which I can have at home. Well, using liquid alcohol rather than gel of course.